Oh, my dislike for it just becomes more intense each year. Uh, it's changed, uh, changed things so much. People are now doing uh, black and white photography uh, digitally. They're doing all sorts of manipulations in Photoshop. And uh, I just don't think it's uh, true photography. I'll continue to do straight photography for my lifetime. I see some uh, images that are done that, uh, you know, they're just unbelievable. The situations that they depict don't exist. And uh, I find it all very disheartening. Uh, you know, when you're doing uh, landscape photography, you got to be at the right place at the right time. And uh, with digital photography, uh, they can manipulate the sky, they can change the contrast, uh, change the color when they're using color uh, images. Uh, I just don't believe in it. Not to the extent that uh, it is done digitally. Uh, the manipulations that I do uh, are, are very straightforward. I'll uh, do uh, dodging and burning in and uh, changing the contrast or altering the contrast as I see fit. And uh, just the traditional way of printing. No, the medium that I'm working in has uh, stayed pretty much uh, the same all these years. And uh, nothing really new. There's not uh, anything new in the way of uh, equipment for film photography. Uh, all the technology is going into digital. Uh, film camera equipments or equipment is getting a lot easier to uh, purchase on eBay. Uh, new equipment uh, generally is not available. I think uh, Leica is one, one of the few that are making uh, film cameras. Nikon makes a little entry-level uh, film camera. Hasselblad's still making them. But uh, anybody that uses a Hasselblad these days and they want to go digital, uh, they got to be prepared to spend about $30,000. Oh, I have a uh, website. Uh, I had to buy a scanner so that I could uh, scan my negatives to go on to the website. The website is not a big money maker. It's just to let people know that you're out there. Uh, something to put on your business card. Oh, there's a photo net forum that I uh, watch quite frequently. They always give you uh, information on equipment processing, uh, an idea of what other people are doing and what, what they're using. Uh, I will surf uh, the web occasionally to pull up some websites and see what other people are doing. But that's about the extent of it. Well, I've whittled my magazines down to uh, just two, and they're real high quality magazines. Uh, one is BW Photography, and uh, the other one is uh, Lenswork. 
Both of these uh, magazines do accept uh, digital black and white, but uh, they're two excellent magazines and uh, I subscribe to them and I keep them. Well, for the aspiring fine art photographer, uh, I guess the most important thing, thing these days is to learn the equipment, learn Photoshop, know how to produce images digitally. I can't imagine uh, many people going into fine art photography these days using uh, traditional black and white materials. The ones that are using film are the, those that have been using film for a number of years. Kind of always wanted to be a uh, photojournalist. Back in my younger days, uh, I used to get a great deal of enjoyment looking at uh, Life magazine. Uh, all of the great photojournalists and Depression era photographers of that time uh, published in Life magazine, and I suppose they have provided me with uh, a fair amount of inspiration. Oh yes, uh, the great ones, uh, Henry Cartier-Bresson, Eugene Smith. I've always uh, liked Dor Dorothea Lange. And several of them of, the, of, of that era. Oh, probably Henry Cartier-Bresson. Uh, he was active back during World War II and the aftermath of World War II. And he did a great deal of traveling uh, all through the Middle East. I know he did a lot of work in uh, Mexico. And uh, his specialty was capturing the moment. And I've seen one of his shows uh, within this past year. He's deceased, of course, but uh, the images were so good at capturing, uh, capturing the moment, the decisive moment, when an image all came together. And by the way, it was all done with a Leica. How did he do it all? How did he fit it all in? Or his greatest experiences? Who are his inspiration? Dorothea Lange, no question. And why Dorothea Lange? Oh, she captured the the times of the uh, Great Depression. Uh, she got out there where the action was taking place and did a lot of uh, photography back during the Dust Bowl era and the migrant workers that went to uh, California. And I really uh, admire uh, probably her iconic image being migrant mother.